Let's say we're asked to find the equation of the line that passes through negative 3 comma 4 and negative 1 comma negative 2, but instead in slope intercept form. First, we obviously need to find the slope because without it, we cannot use either slope intercept form or point slope form. So plugging in the numbers where they belong, y2, which is negative 2, minus y1, which is 4, all over x2, which is negative 1, minus x1, which is negative 3, gives us this expression. Negative 2 minus 4 gives us negative 6. Negative times a negative makes it a positive, and negative 1 plus 3 gives us a positive 2. As we can see here, this simplifies to negative 6 over 2, which finally cleans up to negative 3. So the slope of the line that passes through the two given points is negative 3. Now, if we were to use the point slope form to start, we could use either point, negative 3 comma 4 or negative 1 comma negative 2. Let's say we use negative 3 comma 4 for no other reason other than to say that it's written first. The answer would be identical had we used the second point as well. So had we used negative 3 comma 4, the equation would become y minus y1, which is 4, equals m, which turned out to be negative 3, times the quantity x minus x1, which is negative 3. Negative times a negative makes it a positive, so we can simplify this to x plus 4 inside the parentheses on the right. Now remember, we're looking for the answer in slope-intercept form. Had the question asked for point-slope form, you're done right here. The question is over. However, since we need to go all the way to slope-intercept form, we need to get it to look like y equals mx plus b. So we can distribute the negative 3 into the x plus 3. Negative 3 times x will give us negative 3x. Negative 3 times 3 will give us negative 9. At this stage, all we need to do is simply move this negative 4 over to the right-hand side. So if we do that, we get y equals negative 3x minus 9 plus 4. Negative 9 plus 4 simplifies to negative 5. That is the equation of the line that passes through the two given points, but instead of being in point-slope form, it is in slope-intercept form.